We have been developing the police systematically, as you heard the IGP telling you. At one time, the police force, after the screening, 1986, the police force remained only with 3,000 people. But you now you hear, we are talking of 50,000. But as you heard the IGP telling you, uh, the proper ratio should be one policeman for every 500 citizens or population. And the population of Uganda is now 43 million. So we should be having, ideally, uh, 86,000 policemen. We, we are short of policemen now by 30,000. And we can aim at that figure, but we need the money to pay them, and pay them well. Where will the money come from? From the economy. Which economy? Wealth creators. So therefore, when you hear people organizing riots, when you riot, where do you riot from? You riot in my shop, in front of my shop, if I am owning a shop. A shop owner is a service provider. You block lorries which are carrying bananas to the market. That means those bananas can, 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 can ripen can go bad because they are blocked by people who are, who are, who are rioting. So therefore, be careful of parasites. Anybody who is doing bad things, you know that he's a parasite. He doesn't know that by interfering with wealth creation, you are damaging the interests of the country and how else will you live? Of course, when, things, uh, when bad things happen, not everybody is, is unhappy. When animals die in the park, we are very sorry our animals have died. But the vultures are happy because they go and eat the dead animals. So those who disturb peace sometimes are like vultures. They don't mind if there is a disturbance of peace because they may eat the carcass of the So therefore, the police force must be ideologically and strategically clear. This is a historical mission for your country to move up and get out of backwardness. backwardness. Move out how? Through wealth creation. Wealth creation by whom? The categories I've told you. Farmers, manufacturers, wealth creators, scientists. Who is to protect them? The police and the armed forces. You can't go wrong. Once you get, you, you, you get it clear in your head, you can't go wrong. And that's why the NRM has managed. Because when we came, we found that Idi Amin had created a problem. He had expelled the Indians. Well, why are you expelling the Indians? That they were sucking us. Sucking us how? I was born at Ntungamo. Have you heard of Ntungamo, you people? Oh, Ntungamo, P.O. Box, private bag barrel, if you have never heard of it. <laughs> I was a cattle keeper. My, my, uh, I was and my parents were, and crop farmers. 
The Indians were bringing us what we did not have. They were bringing us a, a jora of cloth, bringing soap, bringing uh, paraffin, bringing some cattle, cattle drugs, bringing salt. So the, the Indians were helping us. And we were helping them. Of course, the Indians had no cows, so we were giving them milk. They had no banana plantations. We were giving them bananas. We were giving them onions. The Indians liked piripiri. They liked piripiri so much. We were giving them our piripiri, kamrari, eshenda. So, how could uh, uh, you can see the thinking of a parasite, like Idi Amin, because Idi Amin was not involved, was not involved in wealth creation. He didn't know what it meant. He was just there, soldier, soldier, soldier. If he had asked us, we the wealth creators, if they had a problem with these Indians, we would have told him clearly that these Indians are helping us. They were bringing Mahonde, Mahonde, this rock salt. From I don't know where. For us, we just come from Kafunjo, our village, we pick the, the rock salt for the cows. So the parasites, because they are not part of the wealth creation, and they don't bother to understand, they can't appreciate who is contributing and who is not contributing. When we came back, we said, no, the Indians come back because it, it, you had no problem. The problem was Idi Amin. Now here, this Indian here has already created 14,000 jobs for you. Uh -huh. Now, which other Munyoro has created 14,000 jobs? <laughs> oh, Munyoro, akozire mirumo, omtoro gumuno nengkumiina. So the police force is expanding, but no your historic commission. I am very glad with the trainers. I could see the training was good. And these young people are all here, educated, they are all senior four and above. <laughs> so really, the future is bright. Don't misuse your chance. If you act right, everything will, be, will move well for you and for the country. With these few words, it is my pleasure to pass out the 5,200 police constables on a probation basis. Remember that. <laughs> do, do you understand English, you people? You understand English like I do? You, you, hear, you, you hear your title. <laughs> Probational police constables. <laughs> now that I have passed you out. But, but remember, you are probational. <laughs> Thank you so much. God bless you. Your Excellency, we thank you so much. We now present the prize winners. CI, can you come forward? Ladies and gentlemen, can we give another round of applause to His Excellency, the President, for the very inspiring and beautiful words. Thank you so much, Your Excellency. CI, let's present the prize winners very fast.
and we go for the anthem. Uh, thanks so much. Your Excellency, I'm S.P. Otoro, the Chief Instructor, uh, here to present to you the prize winners. Prize winners. Excellency, I'm humbled to present to you 5,200 provincial police constables who successfully completed their post. Your Excellency, the overall best student is number 75298, PPC Chikumi Rogers. Chikumi Rogers obtained 25.9 in monthly test out of 30, final exam 24.15 out of 30, this and parade 8.4 out of 10, physical training and martial arts 8.58 out of 10, uh, range exercise 9 out of 10, instructor's assessment 10 out of 10. He obtained 86.03 and he passed in grade A. Congratulations, Chikumi Rogers. Your Excellency, Chikumi Rogers in this category has been observed to be an all-round trainee. He was able to balance his performance in all aspects of training, both academic and field activities. He also demonstrated good behavior, interpersonal traits, and highest level of discipline. Uh, Your Excellency, based in academics is number 74882 PPC of Water Ivan. About the Ivan obtained 25.95 out of 30 in monthly tests, 24.35 out of 30 in final exams, giving 50.3 out of 60 uh, in academics. Congratulations, PPC about the Ivan. Your Excellency, about Ivan exhibited the highest level of knowledge in academic field. He obtained the highest average mark and he obtained grade B, Your Excellency. The next is number 740735 PPC Ojuka Babu Emeke. He's the best in field acti activities. Obote uh, obtained 8.8 .8 in parade and bills, 8.6 out of 10 in physical training and martial arts, and 9.67 in range exercise. In average, he got 27.07 out of 30. Imagine the best in field activities. He performed above others in physical training, parade and bills, skill at arms, and martial arts. He exhibited the highest level of endurance fitness and morale throughout the course. He obtained 24.07 marks out of 30. Congratulations, uh, Emike Babu. And finally, uh, based in discipline, 73723 PPC, Mawa Stella. Mawa Stella demonstrated the most desired level of discipline. 
she was self-driven, loyal and obedient, punctual, calm, honest, assertive, and related well with, her, with the others. He continuously mentored the colleagues and ensured that they achieve the desired goal. Congratulations, PPC Mauma Stella. Your Excellency, I thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Please join our chief guest in congratulating the awardees and prize winners. Congratulations to you all. We salute each and every one of you for being outstanding. Thank you so much. The rest we shall give you your prizes after, after here. You all have prizes. That brings us to the end of this. Can we now have the prize winners leave the arena so that we go into the anthems. Thank you very much. Inspector General of Police, thank you for receiving and handing over the prizes on behalf of the Chief Guest. Thank you. That is how prize winners leave the stage. The joy, these are prizes that they need to hand over to the IGG after here. Anything above 100,000, you have to declare to the IGG.